Welcome to this tutorial by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the slider component in Flash. So to get started, we're going to create an ActionScript 3 document. Then I'm going to go to Window, Components, and drag out the slider component. Once I have that out, I'm going to grab the Transform tool and make it a little bit longer. And I can reposition that at the bottom of the stage. And I'm just going to close the Components tab here, and then grab my Text tool. And we're just going to type change the size. And we're going to make that text black in the properties. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'm going to position this over the top of our slider. And then now we need something to change the size of. So I'm going to take and put um, just a circle in the middle, and we'll be changing the size of that. So I'm going to drag out a circle, and we'll make it have a fill of blue and it has a stroke of 5 and we'll just drag that out in the middle and while I'm thinking about it we're going to um, have that selected and we're going to hit F8 and we're going to change it into a movie clip and I'm just going to call it circle. Click OK. And the last thing we need is some text up in the corner so I'm just going to drag out a dynamic text field and then for that field um, we're going to render out how far this slider is on the line down here um, to basically demonstrate what the size of the circle is. So we need to start giving some instance names to these objects. So for the text field, I'm just going to call it size text. For this circle, I'm going to call it circle. And for the slider, we're just going to call it slider. So now we're ready to start actually coding this out. So I'm going to open up the actions panel. And we need to make sure we select the first frame of the timeline, then go to the actions panel. And I'm going to first import the slider event. So I'm going to say import fl.events.slider event and a semicolon. And slider event has a capital S and a capital E. And I'm going to go down and we're going to set what the, um, the size text is um, at its default. And we're actually going to put the slider in the middle. Uh, to start so that it's kind of at a mid-range so that you're not at a small side or you're at a um, really big circle so just to kind of give a uh, medium range so we need to make sure that the size text shows that so we're going to say size text that text space equals space a couple of quotes and a semicolon and then we're going to say current size and we're going to put it at five so let's put a space there so for the next um, line, we're going to just hit enter, and then we're going to set the value to five so that those two match. So we're going to say slider dot value space equals space, and it's going to be five semicolon. And the next thing we need to do is set up an event listener so that when we change the slider, it fires off the event and it will update the object and the text field. So we're going to say slider dot add event listener, open parenthesis, and it's a slider event with a capital S and a capital E, got change in all caps, comma, and then we need a function name, and I'm just going to say resize circle, and close parenthesis, semicolon. So now that we have that, we need to write that function, so I'm going to say function resize circle. Okay, and then the space, open parenthesis, it's an event, colon, it's a slider event. Again, with a capital S and a capital E. Close parenthesis, colon, void, open curly bracket, enter a couple times, close curly bracket, up arrow key. Now, inside of here, the first thing we need to do is update that text field. So we're going to say size text dot text, and then space equals space. And a couple of quotes, and inside the quotes, we're going to put that current uh, current size that we have up here. So current size, and then a um, colon, and then a space, and then we're going to get the value from the slider. So we're going to say space plus space, and then it's going to be events dot target dot value. Okay, and then a semicolon targets. Okay. So now it's going to say current size, and then it's going to be the value of the slider currently. So now we need to scale this object to um, represent that. So we're going to say circle dot scale and then x. 
So that's uh, scaling in the x direction. Space equals space. Events dot current target dot value and the uh, it's not current target. Sorry, it's event dot target um, dot value. Okay, and then. Basically, if I left it like this, it would be scaling it by the value of that slider, which would end up making our circle scale very large amounts at one time or very small amounts at one time. So we're going to divide it by 5 in order to compensate for that. So after we do that, we can um, put the forward slash 5 and then a semicolon. And then I'm going to copy this line and then paste it below. And we'll just change the Y in order to um, set that so it scales proportionately in both directions. So I think that we're ready to test it. So I'm going to do Control Test Movie. And OK, we don't have any errors. And it says current size is 5. And it's in blue text. We'll leave it. Um, and it's set the slider to 5. So if we start sizing it down, you can see it sizes the circle down. and put it back at 5, go up, and you can see that it sizes it much larger. Now if you want it to not overlap this, you'll just make this uh, circle smaller in the beginning, and you won't have that problem where you can just move it up a little bit. So um, one more thing I wanted to show you, I'm just going to close this. Um, like some of the other components, there's a default setting for this, and the slider is set to have a default of 10 different uh, positions. Now if you wanted to set the maximum number of positions to something else, you would say slider dot maximum space equals space and then whatever number you want. And right now it's at 10. But say that we wanted to have 20 positions, we'll say 20. We'll make half of it 10. We'll update this to 10. And we'll update each of these to 10 to compensate for that. And now it should have 20 positions. So we'll do test movie. And you can see that I don't have to move it. I can move it a lot less and it will have many more positions because now there are 20 uh, in the space where there used to be 10. So you can see um, that you can have much finer um, precision movements now depending on what you need. And it will update this text up here. So we're at 11, we're at 13, 16, 18. And um, the slider doesn't just have to be used for um, sizing objects. You can actually use it. Um, well, in this case, it, like for brush sizes, if you wanted to uh, make a drawing application. Um, but it can also be used for um, volume control. Um, I know that YouTube uses a different, like a slider for their volume. Um, if you look on the YouTube player right now, right, uh, the, this little scrolling bar thing for how far through the video you are is actually a kind of a form of a slider. Um, if you wanted to um, make that function in then you could actually do that in Flash because the whole YouTube player is made in Flash. Um, so those are just some uh, different things that you can use the slider for. So I hope you guys uh, learned something from this tutorial. Um, I hope you subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, don't forget to check back tomorrow for the next tutorial. Thanks.